In this video, we will learn about standardization. Standardization of a data set is a common requirement for any machine learning estimator implemented in scikit-learn. It makes features look like a standard normally distributed data with mean zero and unit variants. Let's import pandas SPD. I'm going to make one variable df and in this I will store my CSV file name. From pandas I will use the method read underscore CSV and my CSV file name is auto mpg dot CSV. Let's look at the top five rows of a data frame df. We will use the method head df dot head. So these are the top five rows of my data frame df and the data frame contains certain columns such as mpg, cylinders, displacement, horsepower, weight, acceleration, model year, origin and car name. Let's also look at the bottom five rows of a data frame df. We will use the method tail df.tail and these are the bottom five rows of a data frame. Let's also look at the shape of our data frame. We will write df.shape. So there are total 398 rows and nine columns. Standardization can be done on numeric data only, not on string. Let's look at the data types, df.dtypes. In the output, you can see that we got the data types of each variable. So data variables such as mpg, cylinders, displacement, weight, then model year, origin. These are the integer or float numbers and we can apply standardization on these variables. For this tutorial, we will look at variables such as displacement and weight. I'll make one variable x and in this I will save the variable displacement and weight so that we can perform standardization on these two variables. From df, I will use the method iloc and I want all the rows and I want only two columns that is displacement and weight and the index numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So for displacement, the index number is 2 and for weight, the index number is 4. I will write 2 and 4. I'll make one variable y. And in this, I will save one variable. Uh, let's say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I will save this variable acceleration and its index number is 5. So I will write df.iloc. I want all rows and I want only one variable. Here I have to put one comma. Now let's run. Let's look at our variable x. I will type x dot head. So our variable x contains displacement and weight. Now from sklearn we will import some libraries such as from sklearn we will import first model underscore selection import train test split. And from sklearn dot pre processing, import standard scalar. So from sklearn dot model selection, we are importing train test split, and from sklearn dot pre processing, we are importing standard scalar. Train test split will be used to divide our data set into train and test and standard scalar will be used to standardize our variable x. Let's split our data set into train and test. I'll make variables x train, x test, y train and y test. Then I will use the method train test split which I have just imported from sklearn.model selection. And here I will pass my variables x and y and I'll pass random state. Random state is equal to 40. You can give any number here. And if you want your result to be same as mine, so you have to type 40. 
now we will standardize our x train we will just do for x train now so let's look at our variable x train x train dot head so our variable x train contains displacement and weight now i'm going to make one object scalar and then i will call standard scalar so i'm making an object of our class standard scalar and then i will call the method fit and i'm going to fit this on x train so i will type x train here let's print our variable scalar so this variable is an object of our class standard scalar now let's look at the mean and variance so to look at the mean we will use scalar dot mean so the mean is 193 for our variable displacement and for our variable weight the mean is 2978 and here you will notice one thing that in the output we got the class standard scalar here because we have just fitted it on our x train variable we have not transformed it yet and we will transform it once we make the transformation we will look at the actual values we will get the actual values that is the standardized value so this is the mean of our variable displacement and weight let's also look at the variance scalar dot and to look at the variance we have the method scale so we will type scale underscore and this is the variance of our variable 102 and 827 now we are going to transform this standard scalar so after doing the fit we will transform it so that we can look at the actual standardized value of our variable x train so i will type scalar dot transform and we want to do it on x train because we have fitted on x train and now if i print this you will see the new values that is the transform value so these are the standardized value of our variable x train these are the actual values then we have done the fit and after this fit we have transformed and after the transformation these are the standardized values and the values you can see here we can also save this in a variable so i'll make one variable let's say i'll make one variable x underscore train underscore scale and then i will just copy this code from here and paste it here now let's print our variable x train underscore scale so these are the standardized value of our variable x train we can look at the mean and standard deviation we will type print x train underscore scale dot mean and we are also have to specify the axis the axis is zero axis is equal to zero so the mean of our standardized variable is minus nine point it is actually in zero because you can see that this is a scientific number so it is 0 0.000 minus 9 and 0 0.000 minus 2 and the actual mean for the uh, for this variable x train without transformation its mean was 193 for displacement and for weight it was 2978 and after transformation now its new mean is minus 9 point it is like 0 0.00 minus 9 and 0 0.00 minus 2 we can also look at the variance uh, variance will be one we will type print x train dot scale dot standard deviation we are actually calculating standard deviation not variance and st standard deviation is nothing but the square root of variance we will type axis is equal to zero so you can see that the standard deviation is one because the mean and standard deviation of standard uh, normally distributed data is 0 and 1 so it is near to 0 and the standard deviation is 1 
we have done this transformation on x train and you can see here we have done this on x train similarly we can do with this on x test also so i'll just copy this and now i'll go here i'll paste it here and instead of x train i will type test here x test so we have done the transformation we have just uh, fitted our standard scalar on x test we can look at the mean and variance we will type scalar dot mean underscore so the mean is 193 for the variable displacement and for the variable weight it is 2945 uh, before that i'll just print this x test here x underscore test dot head so we have two variables displacement and weight this mean is for the displacement and this mean is for weight we can also look at the variance we will type scalar dot scale underscore so the variance is 109 for displacement and 898 for weight now we will transform this and we will apply it on our variable x test so we will write scalar dot transform x test in the output you can see that these are the transformed values or the standardized values of our variable displacement and weight in our x underscore test data frame we will save this result in a new variable x underscore test underscore scale and we will just copy this code from here We will copy this code from here, paste it here, and now let's print our variable x test underscore scale. So these are the transformed value or the standardized value. Then we can also look at the mean and standard deviation of our transformed variable, this variable x test underscore scaled. So I will type print x test underscore dot mean axis is equal to zero so the mean is 0 0.008 and for this displacement and the mean for the variable weight is 0 0.000 minus 1 let's also look at the standard deviation i will type print x underscore test dot scale dot standard deviation standard deviation is going to be one x is equal to zero and the standard deviation is one and one for displacement weight this is how you can do standardization of your variable in python using scikit-learns function standard scalar and in our upcoming videos we will also look at the min max scalar mean absolute scalar the and robust scalar if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.